How's it going everyone? It's Abdali here bringing you guys a tutorial on how to get Kiyubi in the game Yokai Watch for Nintendo 3DS. Now, we're gonna do this in real time, so those of you guys who have found this video by search, definitely grab your 3DSs and join up with me. You're gonna have to do a little bit of grinding before we actually start the quest, but I did that off screen, so hopefully you guys can do it, have good luck with it, and then start with me. So, here's how it works. Kiyubi is actually a, a reward for beating three specific quests. And we're going to go do all three of them right now. But before we do that, we actually need a couple key items. And I'll show you exactly where to get them. So the very first key item you're going to need is a Forever Flower. Now this item is dropped by Pinkie Poo inside the Yokai World. So you're going to have to go back to Yokai World, of course, after you get your S rank Yokai Watch. And get as many of the Pinkie Poo as you can in order to hopefully get one of these items. Same thing, while you're in Yokai World, you're going to actually need this Betrayed Blade. Simply put, go on over to Hooligan Road, uh, and you will find White Reunites. It took me about 40 minutes to get this, but essentially they will drop one and you'll get one. Last things is a Golden Tofu. The Golden Tofu is dropped by Mama Aura in the Infinite Inferno. If you guys are watching my Let's Play, you guys will notice that I randomly got it one time. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be good too. Um, also, you'll need a fourth item, which is the Typhoon Fan. If you're in Infinite Inferno, keep on fighting the Greasels, and you'll essentially get a Typhoon Fan dropped on them as well. So, two items from Infinite Inferno, Tofu and Typhoon Fan, and then one item, or actually two items from Yokai World, Betrayed Blade, and then the Forever Flower. Once you have all four of these items, at least one of each of them, you'll be able to start the quest. So, three quests, here we go, no cuts, no edits, let's jump on into it. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need to go to Breezy Hills Estate. So you guys remember where Eddie's house is, right? So, let's go on over to Eddie's house. We're gonna talk to Eddie's mom, because Eddie's mom has got it going on. Here we go. Breezy Hills is a quiet neighborhood surrounded by mountains. They used to say the mountain woods were haunted by yokai, but you don't hear that stuff too much anymore. The mountain air is really refreshing. Maybe you should take a hike. Okay, sure, sounds good. Let's do it. Okay, the mountain roads are quite narrow and dangerous, so be careful. So we're gonna accept this request. This is the first of the three requests. Of course, you can do these requests in any order. I was just in the neighborhood, so might as well drop in on Eddie's mom, hey. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. So the mountain area, you know, to be honest, I've never actually explored this area. I didn't know it was here, but this is it, the rugged path. Of course, the path forks off in uh, a couple different directions. You've got some chummers, you got some cadens, you got some pretty good items, but right here is where we want to go, as you can see the blue flag on the quest. So be afraid, be afraid. Offer the Typhoon Fan. Yes, we have one, so we will offer it. All right, so we gave the Typhoon Fan. Yahoo! Who do we have? It's Tengu. Okay. We can fight a Tengu. Let's grab our stylus and knock him out. Uh, all my characters are at level 80 right now. You guys have watched my episodes from Infinite Inferno, so you guys know exactly what's up with that. Uh, I'm not really sure how much HP Tengu has, but we're gonna aim for him right off the bat. And I'm gonna actually bust out Cruncha's Sultimate attack, which allows me to do massive damage to one enemy. Now, the great thing about battling Tengu is that he's an auto-capture you're going to get him um, once you defeat him. So I don't have to worry about feeding him anything. At least that's what I'm hoping. All right, keep on attacking this Tengu. I'll switch over to my um, my offensive team right over here. My two physical attackers and then one my one uh, spiritual attacker. Blizzard does massive damage against these guys. And Storm doesn't do too much. Especially coming off of my Shogunyan. All right, so, ah, it doesn't matter, speed's down. It's okay, he's got one more hit and he's done anyway. Or maybe two hits, bam, bam, bam. Okay, easy. Tengu done. Uh, we had to sacrifice that Typhoon fan, which took me a little while to get, so no worries. All right, here we go, looking good. You're a strong one, you've been training on the mountain, eh? I bow to your strength. If you ever need me, feel free to call on me at any time. There we go, we got our very own Tengu. Give Tengu a name? No, thank you. 
Okay, Tengu is added in the Yokai Medallion. Bam! Right over there. That is awesome. I heard Tengu is actually one of the strongest Yokai in the game, uh, along with his like twin brother Flengu. Tengu and Flengu, apparently. So now that we beat that request, that is one down, two more to go. Um, I know exactly where to go for the next one. I was taking some notes down. Okay, oh, and we got the Tengu fan. Very nice. I didn't know if that was an auto drop or what. Oh, you know what? We have to get it because... I don't know. Anyway, so if you equip Tengu with the Tengu fan, his stats are going to go through the roof. And uh, we'll show that a little bit later on. Maybe throughout the episodes of the Let's Play. So there we have it. We've got the Tengu, and of course he's a uh, he's a yokai that you'll want to have. So make sure that you whoa, make sure you do this quest so that you get him. All right, so here we go. Our next quest is actually going to take us to the Gourd Pond Museum, which is ironically enough in the same area over here. So you guys remember the whole sneaking into the Gourd Pond Museum and. Uh, I guess fighting that armor statue, and there was a gigantic rat in it, and it was kind of weird. But anyway, uh, let's actually, yep, we're gonna go this way, right over here, Gord Pond Museum, through here, perfect. Okay, so now that there is a quest um, that you'll take from the receptionist. Uh, unfortunately, I've already taken it off screen, and I didn't notice that it was that important of a quest. I'll show you what it says. The quest is actually called uh, flower for the shrine. The receptionist at Gord Pond Museum said there's a shrine behind the waterfall on Mount Wildwood. Check the shrine behind the waterfall. Okay, so this is where the flower, the forever flower, comes into play. So actually, I should have stayed inside there. Alright, here we go. We're gonna warp with Mirapo. Uh, now hopefully you guys have uh, the abandoned tunnel west, Mirapo. So we're going to go through there, and we're going to pretty much go in the cave area all the way deep within this abandoned tunnel. Alright, so you guys remember this area. This area is pretty cool. Uh, you reset everything by clicking on this emergency lever over here. Now there's actually a couple yokai watch doors um, over in this area. So um, you can get some rare yokai. You're going to need all of them over here as much as you can. So here, we're going to hit this switch first. And now this will allow our one minecart to pretty much take us where we need to go. Okay, we need to go here. Ta-da! Okay. Now right over here is an A-rank yokai door. I haven't unlocked it before because I simply forgot that this place had one of the locks on it. No worries though, uh, because this area is pretty um, interesting. Because what you're going to have to do is we're going to have to find two items. Two actual key items. So here we go, we're gonna find the two key items. And one of the key items is right over here. Uh, if I remember, uh, yeah, here we go, this is it. So we're gonna pick this up, this is pain oil. Uh, you guys know the yokai pain, this oil was taken from the sweat of his brow. Huh, what's this? It's, it's oil. If you use this on a rusty machinery, you can get it back into working shape. I wonder what that's good for. And here's a random hide -a bat so let's knock him out really quick. See, there's pain right there. He's uh, he got some oil, some sweaty eyebrow oil. No worries, these guys are pushovers considering the fact that we're at level 81, so don't even worry about that. Just knock these guys out and keep on going. They'll slow us down though. All right, so here we go, we got the pain oil. Now the, ooh, wow, we don't need any items. Okay, yes, we're gonna take this minecart all the way right back down. Oh, it's a mad mountain. Hmm. What do you know about him? Easy, again. We're just gonna fast forward, knock this crazy Bablong, or Babalong, and Mad Mountain. He's easy to kill. Boom, boom, boom. And one more hit. Thank you so much. I'm surprised that Shogunyan's triple attack is... It doesn't, like, break through the, the ability to stand. I don't know. You would think so, right? Like a, like a focus sash. Anyway, let's hit this thing right over here. The paint oil moves the rusted lever. So by sprinkling the oil right on top of that, we can actually access this minecart. So the minecart's gonna go right over here. Uh, we don't wanna talk to him, but we do wanna talk to him. All right, so this is Signaton. Uh, so I see, you're the human that has come to uncover our secret. What? No, we have no intention of... Give up and tell us your secret. What are you doing? I knew it. Now prepare the, prepare the field and run to my power. So all of this stuff could have been avoided had we gone in there and explored the A-rank door. So I haven't done that, so we're just gonna quickly do this, just in case you're not familiar. 
So A rank yokai, pretty easy. He's done. And we got some pork ramen. Alright, boo, it ran away. I wanted to find out what the secret was. Hmm, it dropped something again. And we have the Signaton engine. We can use that for something entirely different. There's a hidden boss in this area, spoiler alert. I'll show him in another upload, trust me. Okay, we're gonna go right over here. This is a rank S yokai door. We're gonna open that up, we're gonna head on down this way, and now we're gonna pop up in the very top corner of uh, the Mount Wildwood. So watch your step, don't fall down, and we're gonna head right over here to behind the waterfall. Now, as you guys can see, we have a flower earth forever. Offer the forever flower? Sure, we will. You gave the forever flower. Rawr! Okay, so now there's gonna be another boss battle. So this is Dromp. Uh, I've never seen a Dromp in the wild, so this is a first time for me. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and knock uh, the Dromp out. Actually, you know what, here. Yeah, these guys are really easy, so I'm gonna aim for the Drizzles. We can do uh, Shogunyan's Spirit uh, Soul Move, Soul Ultimate Attack. I think that'll do some good work against these guys. Alright, there we go. Panito Blade! Slicing everyone to bits. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, good work. Oh, and Drump was uh, guarding too, huh? Alright, no worries. He can guard all he wants. We're just gonna keep on attacking him. Wow, good job, Cruncha. Way to use your s spirit. Oh my goodness. Cruncha, unbelievable, man. He's got the, l the lowest spirit stat. Is this guy done yet? He keeps on guarding. Okay, thank you. Dromp is done. Alright, good work. So we got ourselves a win against Dromp, which is the second of the quests that we need for QB. Rawr! I've seen your power. My heart is yours forever. Rawr! Okay, so now we got ourselves a Dromp. I'm not really sure what a Dromp does. Um, but maybe we can look at his yokai medal a little bit later. Maybe he's just like a um, a yokai that is like more defensive. Ooh, nice. Okay, very nice. I'm very close to opening up that one book in the yokai medallion. All right, so this is good. This is good. Now we have officially beaten this one. Now we've got one more quest, and then hopefully we can get ourselves a kiyubi. All right, thanks guys, and we got a dingy scale. Oh, it's armsmen and helmsmen. Put together to not make reunite? Wait a second. <laughs> How is that possible? And we got dancing stars. I've maxed out on dancing stars, so I don't need those. All right, so here we go, moving on. I wish there was a faster way of getting over there, but we're literally gonna have to ride our bike. Can I jump down? Do I wanna jump down? I don't think I do. Okay, so here we go. Running on through to the abandoned tunnel. I don't know what this one does. Emergency lever, return the mine carts to their original positions. All right, deal. Hopefully not this one though, because then I'll be stuck. All right, so we're gonna get on out of here. Oh, I don't want to fight this Babylon. No worries, we will. Okay, fighting Babylon. Okay, so the next one, uh, you're gonna have to go all the way to downtown Springdale, and we're gonna have to go to the Fortune uh, Hospital, and we're gonna accept a quest over there. It's gonna be good. Okay, we're gonna run. So like I said, hopefully you guys are playing right along with me. All right, moving on. Uh, can I just drop down? Oh man, yeah, I can drop down, right? Here we go. Cutting out. Ooh! Just narrowly dodged a little dude. Okay, and we have a little bit more. Mirapo, take me away! Okay, so the closest area to that station is right here. <clears throat> yeah, downtown Springdale. That's where we need to go. So we're at the bank right now, not that big of a deal. We just need to go south from the bank. 
And of course, we don't pay attention to any of the um, street signs. Forget that, right? Bring it on, Snartle. Okay, here we go. Uh, this lady right over here, this is the one we want to talk to. It's about time to go clean up the gravestones at Choton Temple. There are a lot of historically important gravestones there. If you're bored this summer, why not try examining them yourself? Sure, let's do it. Maybe you'll find something. An offered sword. Okay, so now this is where the betrayed blade comes in handy. Because you're going to need this to offer it to the yokai that is guarding the gravestone. All right, but before you do that, we're gonna need to do something very special. So, uh, Pickleston Bank, yep, that's what we need to do. We need to actually make it nighttime. Lo and behold, make it nighttime. So you guys know how to transfer uh, from day to night, right? Head on over to your house, take a snooze, and we should be good to go. All right, here we go. Jumping on into bed, sleep, sleeping until nighttime. That's like a good seven hour nap, man. You go, Nate. You get some rest. You need it. It's been a long day. Man, imagine if Yokai were real. Okay, let's go. So, here we are, back with Mirapo. We're gonna go warp over to the Shoten Temple. Uh, Shoten Temple, right here. There we go. So, we're warping to the Shoten Temple, right behind the Shoten Temple. It has to be nighttime. Keyword, don't miss that. It has to be nighttime while we're here. So, Shoten Temple, and there's some gravestones in the backyard. For those of you guys who examined them before, you may find some, some yokai near there, and you might find something that has, like, triple question marks. This is the one right over here. So, return to me, my katana. Offer the betrayed blade. Yes. You gave the betrayed blade. Okay. All right. Oh, it is on now. So here we have it, another quest battle with Zerberker. Now don't be afraid, he's not Snartle who's going to be at like a hun level 100 and he's not gonna rock ya. Uh, or maybe he will, I don't. I honestly don't know. We fought Zerberker inside the Infinite Inferno and the first time that we fought him, I actually uh, got him. I threw some marble beef at him and he actually joined me. So I was actually really pumped up about that, so. We're just kind of speeding it up over here. Uh, we don't necessarily need to do too many things over here because I don't think that these guys are gonna be too hard. I mean, Cruncha's got some good power-ups right now. And we knocked out one of his Sushiyama. We're gonna knock out the other Sushiyama. Ooh. There we go. Okay, he's knocked out. And now, Zerberker. We're gonna knock him out too. Nice blizzard attack and he's out of here. Okay, Zerberker. Not as rare as you might think. I was really upset. Dang it, man. I was so pumped up when I got him. Anyway. You, you're quite strong. You really went for it. I admire your verve and impudence. I will fight with you until this sword of mine is rusted through. Abdallah, I swear unto you my oath of fealty and allegiance. And we get an auto Zerberker. Oh man. I thought he was super rare too. Well, that's another uh, S rank yokai that we needed. Okay, so that was fun. Great. All right, so now that we've completed the three quests, now it's time to go get Kyubi. And this is gonna be really good, so. <clears throat> Ready. So right now we need to go over to the Springdale Elementary. Now apparently Springdale Elementary is going to house Kyubi on the roof. So let's figure that out. I don't know if it has to be night or day. So I'm just gonna go and um, just be just to be safe. I'm gonna do it um, in the daytime. So I'm going to warp away. We're gonna warp back home. Uh, we're gonna make it the daytime, and then go from there. Okay, come on, let's go. Take a quick snooze, sleeping until morning. Now we know where the elementary is. Can you be on the roof? Okay, so let's see. All right, 
right now. Springdale Elementary. Let's see if we can go find him. Riding our bike. Okay. Oh, Springdale Elementary. Yeah, I can go either way. I was going to say, should I go left? Should I go right? It doesn't matter. We're going to ride our bike all the way up to the school. Ooh, man. Snurtle almost got me. All right, how do we get to the roof? I think the roof is through the school. I think this is just some other quester. Yeah, these little kids, we don't need them. I think those are the detective kids. All right, so here we go, let's do this. Uptown Springdale Elementary. Oh, there is a Mirapo over here. Yeah, I could have warped, that's right. Silly me. All right, let's go to the very top floor. And then there's gotta be a way of going to the roof. Yeah, I remember there's a stairway all the way over here, correct? That's a stairway down. I like how in the anime of the game, uh, it's really, really true to the, to the video game, or vice versa, the game is true to the anime. Just with how everything is designed. Okay, QB should be on the... Maybe it had to be nighttime. Dang it. Okay, not that big of a deal. So now we know how to get up there. All right, let's see if I can go down any quicker. Okay, this is... That's some little bird or something? I don't even know. There's, a, there's actually a couple of quests that I need to do inside here. What is this? Rank A, Yokai door. What? That's cool, I guess. All right, here we go. Did I honestly get lost in the school? <laughs> Stop it! Okay. All right, this is the middle of the school. Okay, got it. Okay, here we go. I know how to get back out. We're just gonna go this way. We're gonna go down. Done. Mirapo back to the house. Okay, Mirapo back to the house is right here. Hmm. Okay. I said sleep until morning, didn't I? Okay, no worries. Hmm, taking another nap. Must be nice. Oh, okay, there we go. Sleeping until night. Okay, Springdale Elementary. We're warping right over there. Okay, there we go. Night time. Okay, so we're gonna make our way to the roof right now. Manger Mutt's best friend! <laughs> Multi Mutt, get out of here. Okay, here we go. What do you know? You've grown quite powerful. I guess it's about time you faced me. I don't have much else going on now. I suppose I can play with you. But do you think you have what it takes to defeat me? Of course I do. I've got your clone Frosttail. Oh my, oh my. And just where do you get your co confidence? I'll be waiting for you. Back on the night of the summer festival. I'll be waiting patiently, so bring me a present, okay? The legendary Kyubi. Okay. All right, so the night of the festival, as you guys know, uh, once you beat Yokai World, we have access to a Mirapo that allows you to go back in time to the summer festival. And that's a great area that you can go through and get a lot of good items in one spot, especially all the food items. That's usually where I go to stock up and, and max out all my items and when I have a lot of money. So yeah, let's actually warp with Mira. Oh, can I open the school at night? <laughs> that seems pretty secure. Why <laughs> Why isn't the door to the Springfield Elementary closed? 
Okay, here we go. The last step. The last step. We're there. We're very close. Alright, so now that we have all of our guides in a row. This is the mirror Paul was talking about, kind of in the shade. Do you want to go back to the summer festival? Yes, you do. Here we go. Now this is where you're going to need that golden tofu that you get from Mama Aura in the Infinite Inferno. So in case you don't have that, you gotta go grind for it. So Kyubi should be right here, and this is the final battle. Have you brought me a gift? I'm particularly fond of golden tofu. Hand over the golden tofu? Sure. Okay, did it. Why, thank you. I guess I can play with you for a bit now. All right, it's the moment we've been waiting for. Kyubi and Multimot. Wow, all right. Well, I wonder what level these guys are at. There's no way I can know. So what we're going to do is we're going to fight him like he was a final boss. I'm going to go with the Strength Talisman on Shogun Yan. I'm going to go with the awesome Sultimate move of Golden Yan to pretty much boost up our attack. All right, so this kind of boosts up all of our stats. And by doing so, I'm gonna switch right over this way. We're gonna target um, a Multi-Mutt, because he seems to be doing a lot of damage. And then we're gonna go through with a Speed Talisman on Cruncha. Hopefully Shogunyan does not die right now. That would be bad. There we go, get a little bit of health back, excellent. All right, come on, you gonna do some work there? All right, here we go, you know what? Let's just do this. Ooh, Crunchy got inspirited. Oh, whoa, Frosttail, super effective. Whoa, I forgot, Frosttail's a fire, or sorry, um, Kyubi's a fire elemental. So that's gonna do major damage. Here, you know what, I'm just gonna bring these guys back. Okay, so one of those multi mots we just gotta knock them out. Kyubi is strong, whoa, are you kidding me? All right, Shadow Venox got a pretty strong soul to it, so we might as well use it right now. Okay, and Shadow Venox is very defensive. I made a defensive build with him. He's very good. All right, here we go. Back to the front. Uh, multi mot Yeah, let's knock this guy out. I don't really want Frosttail in this battle because Frosttail's gonna get burned. It's... I need to just swap one over. Here we go. There we go. Good work. And Kyubi. Here we go. We're gonna save this guillotine right for Kyubi unless one of the other guys just punches him. Come on. Storm. Okay, here we go. Finish it off with the guillotine, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! Awesome. Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> oh man, that was actually kind of tough. No doubt, we got a little bit of purification bonus, and we leveled up a little bit, got some money that we don't need, and here you have it. Not bad at all, you've certainly gained quite a bit of strength. I won't hold anything back now. Let's go, one more, t one more time, what? Uh oh, ha! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fight you again, huh? Just joking, thank you for that golden tofu. If you ever need my strength in the future, feel free to call on me. There you go, we've got our very own Kyubi. Now hopefully you guys have learned how to get Kyubi on your team. Of course you can give him a nickname if you want, but uh, we won't. So there we go, Kyubi in our medallion, looking good. All right, whoa, whoa, I need one more on that page. Oh, I gotta find out who that is. Okay, no worries. The legendary Kyubi completed. That was really cool. Now I do want Kyubi to be on my team, uh, or at least I'll, you know, raise him up. So let's see all of the, oh, we got a beefy bell. Wow, cool. That's a uh, Jibanyan um, specific or exclusive item. Ooh, Tattletale, get out of here. What are you doing? All right, so here we go. Uh, let's look. Uh, we're going to look at... Oh, no, not metals. We want to look at uh, info. We're going to look at our medallion. Okay, here we go. So we've got a couple new dudes. Who do we get that was new? We got Fling Tengu. Okay, a popular Tengu who controls the power of wind. Apparently, all that power comes from his number one fan. Very cool. Nasty Kick Storm. Typhoon Fan uses its fan to create a whirlwind that hits all of its enemies. Cool. Makes a yokai into 
a hated Tengu drawing attacks to it. Hmm. All right, well, here goes, um, sorry, here goes Kyubi, an elite nine-tailed fox yokai. He can easily produce power greater than a volcanic eruption. Sense of smell never misses attacks. Tail slap incinerate creates massive fireballs with his inferno and uh, burn as well. So that's cool. Uh, who else did we get? Oh, we got Drump, that's right. Steamroll, Pebble, um, what is it? Fairy tales tell of the monstrous Drump building mountains and digging ponds. Insulator, lessen damage from lightning attacks. Total Collapse, an explosion that will deal damage to enemies and allies alike. Whew, I don't think I ever want to use that. Yeah, he's uh, probably a defensive yokai, if anything. And then we also got, um, who you call him? Zerberker. Uh, I don't really remember where he is. Come on, Zerberker. Did I pass him? He wasn't new because I got him before. Is this him? No, that's right now again. Zerberker, where are you? You gotta be kidding me. How did I lose him that fast? <laughs> Laugh a lot of. Zerberker! You know what? Ah, don't even worry about it. We don't have to show him off. I want to find him, though. Count Cavity? Him? No, that's Tengloom. Mm, no. Okay, whatever. Zerberker, we have him. <laughs> anyway, guys. Uh, that was it. That is really it. I am pretty pumped up because now that we have Kyubi, we can actually put Kyubi on our team and go through and fight even more bosses. So uh, what is next in the Yokai Let's Play of mine? I don't know. There's a, a couple uh, daily bosses that we can go fight. That's going to be about maybe four episodes. There are There's a couple secret bosses. And of course, we got to go back and fight all of the Onis. Uh, Gargaros, Gargaros, we gotta get. We've gotta go catch some more yokai and fill up our medallion. So there's a lot more happening. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, by all means, click on that like button and share the video with a friend. And of course, uh, click on that subscribe button too so that you're notified of any other yokai watch uh, uploads. I do have a tips and tricks video series that I'd love for you guys to check out. In the top corner, you'll see a little um, eye, a little eye. So you can click on that and you'll see it drop down. So yeah, that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and shout out to all the Patreon supporters. You too can help me out on patreon.com slash abdallahsmash026. Get your name scrolling through the credits and help me fuel the Nintendo content. So, I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. It's going to be great. Bye now.